Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, you should unplug the appliance before beginning and turn off the hot and cold water supply valves. To replace the transmission on your washer, you should first disconnect the water supply hoses from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Now, use tape to secure the lid. Next, remove the top two hinge screws, securing the main top hinges to the rear panel. Remove the screw securing the wiring and tube cover and pull the cover off. Pull the main top forward, lift it up, and support it. Now use a flathead screwdriver to help release the tab securing the tub ring and pull the ring off. Next, remove the fabric dispenser from the agitator. Pull out the agitator cap. Use a 7 16 inch socket to remove the agitator bolt and lift the agitator off of the drive shaft. Use a tub nut wrench and hammer to loosen and remove the tub nut by rotating it counterclockwise. You can now lift out the inner tub. Tap the drive block with the hammer to loosen and pull it off of the drive tube. Next, remove the support, lower the main top, align the slots in the top with the bracket tabs on the frame, then push the top back. Reinstall the hinge screws to secure. Carefully tip the washer forward so the front of the cabinet rests on a blanket or towel. Now remove the screws securing the belt cover and pull the cover off. Rotate the belt towards the drive pulley as you pull the belt towards you to remove. Depress the tabs to release the motor wire harness. Remove the mounting bolts securing the motor to the transmission housing and remove the motor. Next, disconnect the shift actuator wire harness. Remove the mounting screws securing the actuator and pull the actuator off. Disconnect the capacitor wire harness and detach the wire retainer from the transmission housing. Remove the mounting screw to release the capacitor. Next, use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the nut securing the drive pulley and pull the pulley off. Now depress the tabs on the splutch housing and remove the housing, the basket drive gear and spring. Uninstall the mounting bolts securing the transmission housing to the outer tub and pull the old transmission assembly out. If necessary, remove the old tub seal from the outer tub. You're now ready to install the new transmission. Insert the transmission shaft into the hole in the bottom of the tub. Position and secure the assembly with the mounting bolts. Slide the spring and basket drive gear onto the transmission shaft and snap the splutch housing into place. Slide on the drive pulley and secure it with the nut. Reposition the capacitor and secure it with the mounting screw. Reconnect the wire harness and snap the wire retainer into the transmission housing. 
reinstall the shift actuator by first aligning the actuator pin with the splutch cam ring, then fully position the actuator and secure it with the mounting screws. Reconnect the wire harness. Realign the motor on the transmission housing, then secure it with the mounting bolts. Reconnect the wire harness. Replace the belt by first looping it onto the motor pulley, then loop the belt onto the drive pulley and rotate the pulley to fully align the belt. Replace the cover and secure it with the screws. Now carefully lift the washer to its upright position. Remove the top two hinge screws securing the main top hinges. Pull the main top forward, lift it up, and support it. Reinstall the drive block by aligning the notches in the block with the tabs on the drive tube and push the block firmly into place. Replace the inner tub. Replace the tub nut by threading it on clockwise and use the wrench and hammer to tighten. Align the agitator on the drive shaft, then secure it with the bolt. Insert the agitator cap, push firmly into place, and snap on the fabric dispenser. Replace the tub ring by aligning the tabs on the ring with the catches on the outer tub. Then snap the ring into place. Remove the support, lower the main top, align the slots with the bracket tabs on the frame, then push the top back. Replace the wiring and tube cover and secure the screw. Reinstall the hinge screws. Then remove the tape securing the lid. Reconnect the water supply hoses to the inlet valve and turn the water supply back on. You're now ready to plug the power cord back in and recalibrate the washer to ensure a good wash performance. To do this, first cancel the settings by holding the start button for three seconds. Now, within eight seconds, evenly rotate the timer selector knob counterclockwise one click, clockwise for three clicks, then one click counterclockwise followed by a final clockwise click. All of the LED indicator lights should be flashing. Now turn the timer knob so only the rinse LED indicator light is on and press the start button to begin calibration. The calibration cycle will run for approximately three to four minutes and will be completed when the lid unlocks and the washer enters standby mode. Once calibrated, your washer is ready for use.